I think Loma can, but I think it's a good fight. Um, Lomachenko is Lomachenko, of course. You know, uh, he has experience and coming out of the amateurs, but so does Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell was, a, you know, a, a Olympic gold medalist, or I think so, something like that. You know, uh, so he has experience behind behind him. You know, he's fought in big fights already. So, you know, he he showed that you know he's that he can show up under the lights. Uh, Lomachenko, obviously, is Lomachenko. Lomachenko is a monster, and we all know that. But I'm interested to see how he's going to adjust to, you know, Luke Campbell being so tall and being so rangy and also having experience as well. You know, um, I think early is going to be a competitive fight. You know, him trying to get past uh, Luke Campbell's reach, you know, his jab. Luke Campbell is going to try to, you know, use that to the best of ability, I would think. Um, Lomachenko, uh, I think eventually he will break him down, you know, eventually keeping the pressure on him. Hit him to the body, you know, using his feints, and uh, I just think that I think that he'll win by decision. But I think that you know, as the fight goes on, he'll take over. I think Campbell will have the the crowd, of course, you know, the, with the fight being in London. But I don't think that it'll phase Lomachenko, you know, too much. I'm sure he's, you know, you know, been a, been against, you know, the crowd has been against him. You know, he's like I said, he has crazy experience, so I don't think it'll be that it'll phase him too much. To to beat Lomachenko, if if I was Luke, what I would do is, you know, I would go in there, I would use my jab, I would use my feints, um, I would let my combinations go and, and try to keep Lomachenko on the outside to the best of my ability. You know, he like I said, he he he's long, he he had he has the range, he's he's tall, and uh, and he, he has a good jab, he has a good one too. You know, and just try to keep Lomachenko on the outside. Who I would prefer to fight out of those two is Lomachenko because, you know, everyone has Lomachenko, you know, as pound for pound best. And I just feel like that would be a, a massive fight. You know, that will put me at the at the top. That will, you know, make me a mega star, you know, maybe even a, a pay-per-view star if, you know, I beat Lomachenko. So that's who I would prefer to beat. If, if me and Lomachenko fight, I would, would like it to be in Vegas or New York, you know, any, anywhere, to be honest. Just, you know, I just would want to fight him. Zara Abdulev is a very dangerous fight for me because this is the fight that puts me or him, you know, in the position to fight for a world title against uh, maybe the one of the pound for pound best, Lomachenko or Luke Campbell. And if he wins, he'll be one of the pound for pound best. So, you know, it, it, it puts us in a great position. Um, and uh, so the, the, the winner, you know, is, is, is headed to the top. So this is a very dangerous fight, but this is a fight that I feel like I'm ready for. I feel like, you know, I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity, you know, and this is my time to, to bring everything out of the toolbox. You know, this is time for me to show the world what Devin Haney is made of.